So I'm Judy Tomosa. I'm the Watershed Education Specialist with the New Hampshire Fish and Game Department. So I permitted you to have your warm water tank and also your trout eggs in the classroom. So today we're also doing some data gathering that will answer the question whether or not the Baker River is a good place to put your brook trout because we want to give context to the reason that we're taking the data. It's always nice to go out and collect data, but you need a reason for taking that data. When we get the readings, they'll be averaged and then we'll be putting that data into the GIS map. Got nine points. Temperature in Celsius. pH. This is an ArcGIS Online Watershed Education Program map that I have an account for, and if I invite schools to be users of the account, then they have access to look at this map anytime that they want, if they want to find out water quality or fisheries data that has been taken in the state. Fish and Game works with schools and communities and landowners and uh, other agencies and organizations all over the state to safeguard the health of the fish and wildlife of the state. But one of the most important things that we do is make sure they have healthy habitats. And the challenge is that New Hampshire is a small state, but it's bigger than you might expect when you're out there trying to check up on all the fish and wildlife. So we ask schools and communities and other organizations to gather water quality and fisheries data for us whenever they can.